Hey guys, it's up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3 Crew World Part number 56. We're going to Charlotte in the Xfinity Series. We're coming off like a very eh, pretty good run at Dover all across the board. And Charlotte was pretty good to us in the Truck Series. And I think we'll, it'll be okay here too. Not 100% certain. But uh, settings, same as always. We're only about 156,000 away from getting the... the, the the, uh, the whatever thing for the <laughs> for the car so it's all 90 across the board and I was just thinking to myself like I feel like this entire season I think we're gonna be spent like a big chunk of it just upgrading and not really upgrading but getting all the stuff we need because I think there's more like uh, road course chassis to get because there's there's like multiple road courses like back to back so there has to be like a second road course chassis to purchase as well which is like Jeez, it might be over a million dollars with how this game likes to overcharge you for stuff. Oh, boy. Yeah, this might be like a two-season thing in Xfinity, the more I was thinking about it. But, yeah, 90, 85, 90. Let's do qualifying, and we'll, we'll talk about the car and the future of the Xfinity series, and I guess in the race. Off turn four. I have the gear at 105 to get us a little bit of straightaway speed or a bit more power. 25th, that's not too bad. In the race, we're going to lower the gear to uh, 0 0.95 just so it's a little bit quicker in the draft and everything and all that stuff. But yeah, Tyler Reddick on the pull. Let's just get into it. I'm going to change the setup real quick. And we're going to bump that down to 0 0.95. And the wedge and everything else, that, that was the only thing I changed was the wedge and the gear. Now let's get into the race as we're going to be on the outside, which is a problem. It's a problem. So we got Cole Custer being a scrub good for you Stephen Light having issues and I thought Tyler I thought it was gonna give me a thing about Tyler Reddick being on the pole but it's okay here we go here we go and green flags out I don't know why Dylan Lupton's running that good but dude, you know what whatever we get a good run here up on the outside 10 laps in the stage 14 in the fuel Kaz Grala, thank you Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I, I like getting put in the ball right off the bat on lap one. What a fucking cock. But it's okay. It's okay. It's just going to be it's gonna be a redemption arc now. And we just lost all those spots that we just kind of gained on that start. So that's lovely. <sighs> that really fucking sucks. This is awkward. We're right next to Dylan Lupton. And I know somebody mentioned in the comments. What if there's two 28s in this race? Change it. No. <gasps> no. <laughs> nope. It that doesn't. It's kind of silly. That I, I I haven't changed it, but I, I'm sticking with this number until maybe the Cup Series. Then I'll get to the. I was gonna say then I'll change it to number eight, but there's already number eight. Then I just contradicted myself within the same minute. I don't. I got nothing. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to race it. Okay, is that? I just. I just feel like I want to race it. I, it's okay. Oh yeah, Xfinity. Um, I mentioned this before I went to qualifying, but the future of this Xfinity series, I feel like it's gonna be. We're gonna have to probably do another season of this at least, at the very least, because we we're not really upgrading the stuff. It's taken us a, a long time just to uh, get the the chassis and parts we need. A little bit of it's uh, on my on me because I could really have just you know ran the truck series and got more money that way. But I didn't. You know, I was kind of going off how the truck series went a little bit, and it's like I didn't really need to run the dirt while I was in the truck series but for Xfinity I guess I, I should for I guess next season I'll, I'll, I, I guess I'll do that stuff like off camera or something I don't know but it all depends like if I somehow somehow some way win this championship I'll probably do like once because I'm not going to have enough money to start my own cup team or anything so it'll be just like a like just one season of just running all the series yeah that's where I'm going to be probably running all the series off camera getting as much money as I possibly can and then start my cup team like the next season. So I'll probably do like that entire season like off camera. Just so I don't bog the series down by like another like 50 parts. Of just doing those sort of stuff. And that, that's the plan. And I think that's a, a good idea. If we if we don't win the championship then we'll just do like another normal Xfinity series season. And if we have those races like at a point where you know we just dominate then you know I'll, I'll probably you know put in two or two a video or something but... As of now, I don't know. I just don't see ourselves getting the, ch the championship. I can maybe... I, I mean, I'm already in the, ch the, the chase thing. But I don't know. Like, 
we're just not getting enough money to upgrade stuff as quick. Which I, I appreciate. I don't want to sit here and say I don't appreciate it because it is nice. And I'm glad that the game at least is making it a grind a little bit more than what it was in the truck series. Which I, I appreciate. But now that I know this, I can definitely go into the next season with like other stuff and just uh, you know upgrade the thing. And why did my water bottle in my garbage just pop? That was weird. But as I'm rambling on, we're inside the top 20. We're running eh, pretty okay. I'm not gonna lie. Like, pretty much, like, just average. Like, the, the lowering the, the, the gear ratio, it's giving us more top-end speed, especially in the draft, which is what also we need so we don't lose anything. So I think that was the best thing to do in this situation. But yeah, we're just kind of stuck here. I mean, we, we certainly don't have the car to win. If, if we have, a, like, another, you know, restart and we can... You know, repair it, or at least get off to a better restart and try to do something with, with like well if we don't lose ground on the restart and get put in the wall I think we'll have a better shot I, I would think so but yeah this stage is almost over and really I've just been talking the whole time but there's been stuff going on as I'm talking so that's been fun we'll give I was gonna give Joey Gase a shot but yeah, okay yeah here's Austin Sindrick in a five-star ride on par with me and Joey Gase. What a man, what it's okay. It's he's oh god, I hate him so much. He's like the new Logano of this generation. Like, he, he's, he's getting onto that plateau, he just needs to do more shitty things. He's just he's he's on that path. It's just he just needs to do more shitty things. Uh, here's Casgrala behind him. Well, that's awkward, but yeah, we'll finish up the stage in 20th. I'll take that. That was pretty a pretty solid run. And the stage as well, I think, will be 10 laps also. It will just take on four tires, and that'll be it. I don't think there'll be... We might lose a spot for, like, like a repair and damage, but that's really about it. And we lose one spot, which is okay. And it's even better, because we're on the inside. And we gain a lot of spots here on this restart. That'll be nice. Green flag's back out. And yeah, there we go. Good get through those gears. That acceleration, though. Oh, my God. 10 laps in this stage, oh good lord, that's sickening, that is absolutely sickening, went from 20th to 15th, just because I was on the inside line, and we're going to start losing our speed now, yeah, you know, it's just, that's just how it goes, well, the good thing is now we're, we're, we're in a bunch of, we're around a bunch of cars, which should be a very big help into keeping the draft, keeping that speed up and all that with faster cars. So I think we should be able to hang on. I, w I would think so. Not positive, but I would think so. So we're going to get to the inside of Matt Tipped, I would imagine. Yes, we do. Drive right by him. I, I was going uh, to give Ryan Priest a shove, but I don't think our car quite got to him. But yeah, we're right there with him. I think we could definitely get top 15. Especially if we keep getting these, like, uh, what, what, do, what do the hipsters say? A, a dope restart? <laughs> like, I think then it'll be pretty... Cool. I think we'll probably finish okay. So stuck in 14th place. The outside line's kind of falling back a little bit. We're just trying to keep the car at the bottom as much as possible and try to gain up spots. Just, just hugging that white line. In the corners, we just gave Ryan Priest another shot and... He doesn't do anything with it. I can't really go anywhere. I can try to shove... I can try to make it through wide, but the car just doesn't have enough speed and then we have freaking... You know, big time JJ Yaley back there is all over my back bumper, so I can't really do any sort of crazy moves. I can't just like go really wide into the corner and just duck down low in the center because they're just going to stick it. So I have to play a little bit of defense while being offensive. Does that make sense? I don't know, but it's NASCAR Heat 3. <laughs> and yeah, Ty Dillon got back down to the bottom, and here we have Jeremy Clements, the most racist man in all the land. And that kind of rhymed a little bit. Man, land, it was kind of, I'm getting there, okay, that was a pretty good joke. So I just gave Ty Dillon the shot, but it's okay, he's a lying piece of shit. I'll give you context. So, yeah, uh, Ty Dillon and Kamikaze Games have beef, and Ty Dillon just, like, flat out lied about, like, what went on with Kamikaze Games, saying, like, he never, like, reached out to him and, and stuff, or, or any other bullshit like that, about going to the race or trying to communicate with him. It was just something, like, really stupid, and it was just, like, a blatant lie, because uh, Ty Dillon could be the bigger man and just just be honest but no he just has to be a lying piece of shit god it's it's amazing that some kamikaze has more class and just courtesy than a professional stock car driver 
Wow. I mean, wow. Wow. It's amazing. Ooh, I hate him so much. He's such a waste of life. <laughs> waste of life. Good luck. I never even thought I would say that. Yeah, I, I, I'm still stuck at 14th. I can't go anywhere. I'm just, I'm just stuck in an endless loop of 14th. Well, as soon as I say that, then we get by Ryan Priest. Okay. D sure. Yeah, it's. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's uh, their car is hanging on. I mean, we're, we're pre I mean, pretty okay. I, I'm I'm kind of shocked. I didn't think it'll be this good. I thought it'd be around like 16th to 20th, I guess. But nope, I was wrong. <gasps> okay, Clemens, it's okay. We'll we'll just door him up a little bit. It's okay. And 11th. Oh my God, can we get stage points? Huh? Eh. Maybe? Tyler Ruddick just gives me the bottom like that. We are friends. Remember, I did, I actually complimented him. That might be like the fourth driver in this entire career mode that I complimented as I just almost wreck his shit. How nice of me. <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll finish off stage two in, in 11th. I know it's not the white flag, but we're going to get 11th. There's really no ifs, ands, or buts. P11 in stage two. Not bad. I think if we start on the inside line in this final restart and have it go green all the way and we pit... I could maybe get some spots, because uh, yeah, it might be. Oh, I'd rather repair the damn. No, I'm not doing it. I want that out inside line. I need it. I'm not going to waste another position and be stuck on the outside. Uh, 1.5 and fill it up. Four tires, not repair damage. Oh, we'll see what happens in the final stage as Ross Chastain got a stage win. What? Yep, we're still 11, so yeah, not not repairing that one side of damage. It uh, was a smart, smart move. We'll see what we can do on the start here. I imagine we're going to get an amazing start and gain some spots that way. Again, we're within, we're within our objective spot of getting like 15th or better. So we don't really need to do anything crazy. I'm not really trying to do anything crazy, but we just got to a, an amazing start. Went from 11th to 2nd. Good lord. That's absolutely sickening. The start that I just got. And somebody just got put in the wall back there. Oh my god. What? Was that? I saw that in my mirror. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, I mean we're not. We're gonna be on the outside. I, unless start. This shaves down laps, which is easier for us on fuel. So I think it'll be a uh, one stop one, no matter really what. I think it was gonna be that anyways, but I don't know. But here we go, and we're gonna get to the outside of Bell. Please, for the love of God, Bell, give me room as I almost don't even shift in the third gear. Hey, look at that. We just freaking... <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> That's unreal. That is, uh, that is one hell of a restart. If we just took the lead. It's not going to last because we don't have the speed. But this, this is interesting. 22 to go in the lead. I never thought I would say that in this one. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Oh my god, Harvick just drove straight around me. I thought I would at least kind of have a fighting chance in the turn one, but I didn't even get that. They just drove straight. Oh my good lord. Well, that's okay. We don't even really deserve to be up here anyways. If we could just somehow salvage a... We just, we just need... Bramridge dropped again. What the fuck? The LA Tower's gonna get by me here. We got 12 laps in the fuel and what 18 to go or something 21 to go so yeah when we do end up hitting i'm gonna probably more than likely take four tires and enough fuel to make it because yeah we don't need four tires the, the run isn't too terribly long or it's not like near the end of a fuel run by the time the race ends it this goes green all the way but at least for now i guess i can just chill in fifth for a little bit and just you know, see what happens Okay. Well, uh, even if I pit now, we're still gonna have to make a. Yeah, it's not in our best interest to pit because we're still we're not gonna make it to the end. Is okay. 29th to 39th are, are pitting. I don't know why they're not gonna make it on fuel. Even if it restarts with like 16 to go, we're gonna be two laps short. I don't know if I can even save that amount. Ah, oh, I don't know. This. Uh... Damn, that's a... I don't know. I don't think we can save two laps of fuel, though. 
Um, oh man, I don't know. I'm staying out. No, I'm pitting. I'm pitting. Oh, ooh, somebody blew up. Oh boy. Okay, <laughs> this is last second decision. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna get to the outside here. I can't even get to the bottom. And stack up. Ty Dillon. <laughs> Ty fucking Dillon, man. What a goddamn scrub. He's such a waste of life. God almighty, just he blew up. That's so funny. All right, well, you got 14 to go. 16? 15? Laps in the fuel. We might be able to save that. Oh, no, never mind. We went down to 13. We're like a lap and a, and a half short, I think. Hmm. The draft might help us out a little bit. But I'm not sure. Like, 14, 13. Yeah, we're about a lap and a half short, roughly. Well, this is going to make this race very interesting. And now those cars in the back of the field, they all got screwed up because of that incident. And all these cars in front of me are going to have to pit. Now the only thing is, can I even stretch it on fuel? It looks like I am, because it didn't go down to 12 right when I got into turn 3 like I did last lap. So, we're saving fuel. Oh my god, we are saving fuel. We can do this. Oh my god, we can cheese another win. Holy shit. Oh my god, it can happen. <laughs> oh shit. Don't look now, but we're saving fuel by a good bit. Like, we went from about a lap and a half short to under a lap. It's going to go down to 9. I think think off turn two no it's gonna go okay a little bit further and uh wow okay yeah that draft is helping out a lot good god damn yeah went down to nine there we're only we're, we're good we're good we're gonna save fuel and i'm not really even trying it just the draft is helping out so much oh my god we could cheese this again Never mind. Well, that sucks. God damn it. Um, well, the good thing is they're pitting. All the people that pitted on that last yellow, they're staying out. Hmm. I'm not going to put in fuel. I want to put on right side tires. And I think we'll be good. I think we should start off like around ninth, roughly. And we have such a buffer between the other faster cars that we can maybe gain the spots we need. Never fucking mind. Ty Dillon's back on the track after blowing up. What the fuck? There goes our race. But the good thing is, despite that hiccup, is that there are slow cars up at the front, which could slow the whole field down. And we gain a crap ton of spots. And we start on the inside line, which is even better for our luck. Oh my good lord. BJ McLeod is leading the race, by the way. I just want to mention that. Jeff Green, I think, is third. Oh my god, we can... Like, we got five laps here. We can gain a crap ton of spots just by them being slow around the track. Oh good lord, this could, this could happen. Dylan Lupton, fuck off. No, I'm not going on the outside game. I'm not going to do that. Not here. Boy, yeah, it's just a big mess. Unless we get like a lot of yellows or something, like I don't see myself moving up to the field. Oh, Ryan Reed, oh, doored him a bit. Oh, hello, Spencer Gallagher. And we got by those cars. Yeah, this is it. I mean, uh, we were running like right on the top 10, around like 11th. So we really, I really hope we can finish there. Is, I think BJ McLeod is legitimately pulling away from the field. I wish I was ex like wish I was saying that as a joke, but I think it's actually happening in front of me. This is a weird race. Like I can't believe that pit strategy is gonna pull off for them. And I got nowhere to go. Fuck. Go. Oh my god, man! I just lost so much time through there. Oh my god. All right. Well, we we need a yellow or something. We need something crazy to happen to gain more spots. Well, I mean, whatever happened in that corner, we gained a lot of spots. God, it's like a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what the hell happened there. I thought the, the car, like, bounced. 
I might have been looking at it wrong, but... Yeah, McLeod. <laughs> Fucking BJ McLeod. What a champion. We're gonna get... I think we're gonna get our objective position thing. I think it's doable. Chris Rebell... Oh my god, it's just like a roadblock, you know, sandwich of all these different cars all over. And we're gonna get 15th? White flag? You... <laughs> I mean, that's what I wanted in the... I'll take it. Went from 33rd to... Oh, man, Vinnie Miller. Don't get down low. Okay. We'll give Matt Tip the shot. He goes up high. He's not going to really have anywhere to go. He's going to stall. Oh, my God. Morgan Shepard's up there. We're going to gain a bunch of spots here, and I think in turn three. As long as Daniel Hammer gets his ass in gear. And we're going to get 11th. Yes, that's where I was running most of the race. Yes! Yes, that's perfect. And I think BJ McLeod just won the race. Oh, my God. What? Oh, man. this That's another first-time winner this season. So here was one of the cautions, I think. Ty Dillon just spun himself out. And got into Ryan Reed and Ryan Sieg, I think. I don't know, but that was certainly a caution there. I think that's the only one the game has showed throughout this uh, replay. Okay, there's one for Brandon Jones and Ryan Truex. I think this was one of the yellows where I saw them in my mirror, like somebody hit the outside wall and just stopped. It was like a wall glitch or something. Yeah, they, nobody really wrecked, they just kind of slowed up. Well, let's look at the finishing results. We get 11th, we beat Morgan Shepard, and Ross Chastain dominated the race, got 17th. Ty Dillon 30th, Spencer Boyd last, and... B. Jake McLeod, J.J. Yaley in 8th. That's another first time winner. I think he's legitimately I think in the chase now? I think? Well either way we're going to get a good payoff from this. For sure. 80,000. So we'll just reach over 100,000 I think at the end of this. Including the merch pad which is surprisingly getting more and more up there as the races go on. Almost there to 600,000 and upgrade the, the thing. And We're not there but we're, we're pretty close. Point standings. We're 13th. We're ahead of Ty Dillon. <laughs> Ty Dillon has eight stage points. I don't know where the other three ones uh, came from, but he he, he uh, we surpassed him though. That's that's all that really like, honestly matters. And yeah, well, let's just move on. 122,000 game from the race overall and 4,800 fans, well roughly an estimation. We got our top 15 thing, and Kelly has a message. Hey, it's Kelly. You're improving out there. All the hard work is paying off, so keep pushing. Thanks, Kelly. It's a long way to the top, but you're on a roll. Keep rolling. God damn it. Look at Ryan Sieg is maxed out on our friendship. Oh my. I love you, Ryan Sieg. We're gonna, we're gonna put you into, like, the lover zone at some point, because it's like, it's gone beyond friendship. <laughs> okay, so the next race is another, okay, another Xfinity one. I think this is do. I don't even know. Pocono? Okay, it is Pocono. Um, as long as we get a top 15, we'll get that $74,000 payout. I'm just going to you know, upgrade the facility and get all the stuff we need for the next two races. And, and it, it, it already ready. We'll start the work plan. We got everything ready for uh, Pocono and Michigan. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to make of that race. It seemed like we almost had a top 10 car. Like, we were running 5th for a while and not getting passed. So, I don't I don't know. We'll be, we finished where we should. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just... I think next race, no matter what, I think we'll have enough money to improve the... Yeah, okay, the aerodynamics. Then after that, it just gets really expensive. Like, 1.8 1. 1. million. Good lord. From 600... That, tri that tripled in price value. Damn. And then the final one is almost doubled, well, 2.5 times what, what it was before. Yeah, it's going to get expensive. I really, uh, had I known this, I would have definitely uh, done the truck stuff off camera just to, to build up more money. But I, I, I learned that. I learned that now. I'm learning. We're, we're learning this together, okay? I just, I didn't know. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Comic-Cause Games, Ryan Lazar, and Day 500 Champ 15, Jeff Gordon, Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Matthew Murray, Stephen Willie, Sim Racer 2001, Motorsports Games, and Preston Carpenter for donation again. I cannot ever thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel. It does mean so very much, and like I always say, I just I just cannot thank you guys' help along the way with everything. 
I'll see you all at Pocono. That's another power track, kind of like Auto Club. I don't know if we'll do that well, but we should have enough to get over 600,000 to upgrade the, the suspension. Um, standings. Okay, Mc, okay, McLeod is nowhere near the, 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 the thing to be in the chase, but he, we still don't have a repeat winner. <laughs> we still don't have a repeat winner. That's insane to me. He is in 26th. 6th. And Garrett Smithley is up there too. And why am I going to Cup Series? I don't want to toggle that. Um, yeah, he's still in. I think 20th, I guess, is the limit of like where that cutoff is. Where it's like if you have a win above 20th, then you're automatically locked. So he's kind of on the bubble for, for points, at least. Yeah, it's been a weird season. We'd have to, I just can't believe that. BJ McLeod won a race. And he pulled away from the field at one point. He, he actually pulled away. Oh, man. That was just weird. That was a weird race. I got nothing more to say. I will I will see you all next race. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.